Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right episode. Today we're getting into a pile of dino turds. No, actually, these are spent mushroom logs uh, from a company down in Georgia who's selling about 2,000 pounds of shiitake mushrooms a week. And uh, my buddy Andrew works for them and he brought these up for me. So he brought me this whole pile for $100 and yeah, they may not be brand new, but they are gonna be able to produce some shiitake mushrooms. You can actually see one right here. And they'll produce, he told me through, uh, that I'll be able to get some through the winter into the beginning of spring, and then they'll probably be done, which at that point I can turn them into really good compost. So he told me how this works, and I guess a lot of mushroom companies, large scale companies do it like this, uh, so they ship over American hardwoods over to China. The Chinese inoculate them, and then they get shipped back here uh, to where they grow. So you can see these holes. This is where they initially inoculated them. And that's, I'll be doing the same thing on some fresh logs later in the winter. So inside you can see, look how much mycel mycelium's in there. So these are fully ready to go. And the reason the company doesn't keep them is because, you know, it's just like an egg laying chicken. They want the maximum production at all times. So these have slowed down their production. They get rid of them. And he's actually going to be making soil out of them eventually, which is really cool. So today I'm just going to be setting up a really simple uh, set of tables that I'll make out of tree limbs that I cut down and then some leftover heat treated pallets that were left on the property here. I'm going to show you what to look for to know if it's safe to use a pallet or not. Some pallets are treated with chemicals. So for a hundred bucks, I'm gonna be able to get, you know, up to, may up to maybe a hundred pounds of shiitake mushrooms uh, from this really simple setup. And I just wanted a way to guarantee myself some extra food here through the winter. And this winter I'll be cutting down, you know, some different trees and uh, with those, I will make my own shiitake logs from trees in my own forest. So you can see more of the traditional way that people do it. So this is just a quick setup so that I can get some extra food for winter for me and my family and some friends. So I hope you'll enjoy seeing what I do here. So one of the first things that I'm gonna do is just prepare this little area. It's in zone one. If you're familiar with permaculture, it's right next to our house. So it'll be really easy to come over here and get the logs more moist if they need that or and of course to harvest them. So I'm gonna clear out this area a little bit better. This is where I'll build my little tables. Behind me here, I have a tote filling it with water so I can soak all of these logs uh, to get them super moist so that they will continue to produce. So I thought about soaking them overnight, but I did a little test. And because these are so broken down, they're kind of, they're just like huge sponges. So I think just an hour would be plenty for them because look how much water this absorbed. Okay, so here's some of the tree limbs that I'm gonna use for the table legs. And unfortunately, I don't have a miter saw yet, so we'll just have to use a skill saw here. And I'll be making the each leg three feet so I can make a three foot tall table, which is a great standard size. I'll be able to go underneath it to grab mushrooms if I need to. Um, and it's a great working height as well. So I'm just gonna be building this table as cheaply as possible. This only needs to last six months then I can take it apart and reuse it or use it for another purpose, but it doesn't need to be that strong. It's not holding weight. Just need to build this quickly and, and put it together. So for the construction of these tables, I'm gonna drill some pilot holes in my boards and in my logs. I'll probably put two three inch construction screws in each, that way I can take it all apart later if I want to. Um, and then I'll it, probably do some side bracing. I'll, I have these wood pieces that we took off that were used as like curtain hangers inside of the house. So those will be perfect uh, for bracing the sides of the legs. 
And another great way that I could have built this uh, that my friend Andrew did, he uh, built the table out of just cattle panel with uh, just some two by fours, cattle panel. Uh, and that's another great way to do it, but I didn't want to spend any money. I had all this free material laying around. So you guys know me, I love going cheap if I can. So this is what we're gonna do. And I love that I'm using some trees from our forest here. And you know, this is not holding any weight. I don't even need the side supports. Um, as long as I don't knock it hard or something, it's gonna be fine, it's not gonna break. So there we go, I'll just do the same thing for the rest of the tables. And then here's how I know that these are safe to use and they're heat treated. So what you wanna look for is a stamp that's gonna be somewhere on the pallet. And um, if it says MB, that's for methyl bromide. Uh, so you don't want that, never use that. Um, you want it to say heat treated, or uh, I think it's BD, like the bark was removed. I think it's what, it, I forgot how, they, how, they, how it said, but if you look it up online, what are, pallets are safe to use, they show you the charts. Uh, and I'll put a link in the description to those charts so you, you can see them. All right, you guys, there's the setup. And I probably could fit two more links of tables like this full of these. So I'm gonna go uh, look out for some more pallets or maybe some cattle panel that I can get really cheap and build some more tables to finish this out. Um, I'll do a future video on an update on this and how it's going. Uh, I was talking to my buddy the other day and he was telling me about how you can harvest your own spawn from your mushrooms. So I wanna look into that more so that uh, I can make my own inoculate for spring. So I'm really excited to start getting into mushrooms more and growing all types of mushrooms, uh, harvesting wild mushrooms. We got to find our own chicken of the woods uh, a few months ago. That was really fun and delicious. So we're excited for this wonderful food source and also just a great soil amendment too at the very end. So be sure to hit the like button, comment, let me know what you guys think of this.